they will not accept the office of the prophet. Here's the wisdom for your people. In order for you to penetrate this group, introduce yourself to a prophetic ministry. No big deal. You do not have to introduce yourself as a prophet for what? Right. You're not going to get an increased pay. <laughs> Just say, I'm prophetic. Period. You first need to understand people are terrified of words, then we will break it down. What is the office of the prophet? Then we need to define what is an office. When we say office, we imagine someone with a tie and with a white long sleeve shirt with a black pants, and we imagine an executive working in his desk, in his office, in a room or in a cubicle, right? Right. That's what you said when you said what office. Here is the definition of an office. It is an area where people work. Right. right now, I'm working. While I'm preaching to you, I am working. This is my office. If you are going to invite me to your Bible study at your house, your living room will be my office. So my office follows with me. The same thing with the pastor. If you invite the pastor to preach on your church, your pulpit becomes his temporary office for the next one hour, depending on how long is the service. The office is where people work. If you are a mechanic, chances are your office is under this, the car. All right? If you are a farmer raising chickens and pigs, your office is at the bottom. Serve you. I met Pastor. 
doors that are stock brokers in the New York Stock Exchange. And they said, I'm a pastor so and so. And I said, Brother Pastor, said, no, I work as a stock broker in the New York Stock Exchange. So I said, Did you pastor before? Yeah. So therefore, you own a former pastor. You are no longer functioning as a pastor. You own a stock broker. Right. If you are not working the function, you are not that anymore. It feels like that, but it's not that. Shara Magana Sika. I'm very passionate about this subject. You know why? Because there's so much ignorance in the body of Christ. And I hate ignorance. I will do a resting match with ignorance every day. Shara Magakata. And you know, if you would like to become a minister and God place you in the United States, you can be dumb. In the Philippines, you can be friends for 10 years, even though a pastor has no message, but because they were friends, that friend of his will allow them to speak at the moment with no message. <laughs> and when they are at the moment, all that they have to do but you cute. <laughs> Because you know what? No one person cares the 
the, the exclusivity of all revelations. So you, you need to be you need to be you need to be constantly upgrading yourself. I'm sitting with Brad Solomon about it so long. I said, you are you are I, I will hire you as my teacher. That's what I'm sitting in my mind. He is so good as a teacher, I'm learning so much. He, he's like showing to me what I cannot see. He is filling in the gap of those that he feels like it's missing there. So imagine if you have that, you have the prophet and the teacher, and they fit together in the pastor, you will do well. The church, the church will be strong, you will be trained, you will mature, you will grow in the knowledge of the Son of God. We need that. Yes. The prophet, however, is a person who was called from the womb, that's like the calling of Jeremiah, or you were called when you were born again. Jeremiah was called from the womb, that's the natural, or you were called when you, at, 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 that's when you were born again. You were born again in the spirits. So you can either be called in that way, but whichever way God preferred. And then a prophet is raised up by God. The prophet didn't become a, a person, didn't become a prophet because he was hired by a church to become a pastor. Or because you started a church, or you labeled yourself as a prophet. It doesn't work that way. If a church would hire you to become a pastor, forget about your labels of prophets. <coughs> if you would start a church, you will be called as a pastor, not as a prophet. The, the, the prophet label, it will take a while before people will give it to you. Mm -hmm. Because people will have to test your accuracy. People will test to see your relevance. People will test to see your knowledge. People will test to see that indeed you are worthy of the label. So it will take a while. In fact, you don't demand it from people. People will give it to you. In fact, some of the people here in the Philippines that you said are prophets. They're not. They're only prophetic. There is not even a substance in what they do. Actually, if you are quick to label a person a prophet, and the people that submit that expectation, you are destroying the person. You are destroying the person. Because you are giving them a title that they are not ready to handle. Because I am telling you this, once you start to accept a label, people will start calling you out. At first, it's because they have a need and they want your spiritual help. So you pray, but some of them are savior than the snake. They will call you out to test you. If you fail, they will bet you. Here goes your nemesis. Can you imagine? At our level of prophetic right now, people are traveling overseas to see me in New York. So if you leave up yourself prematurely, and you are not according to your label, and they travel from one part of the world, waste their money, and they see that you are only one of those loons, I am telling you, you destroy yourself. There is no rush. Grow yourself. Develop the accuracy and listen to the voice of God. Mature yourself. Know the word of God. Know the heart of God and then be strong in the knowledge of God. Even the foundation of your faith needs to be sound. If the foundation of your faith is not sound, it shows in your prophetic. It shows in the words that you release. The foundation of what you believe in needs to be sound. There it goes. The pastor's authority is within the church. The pastor has the privilege to exercise oversight within that domain. So if you are a pastor of a local church, you are the head authority figure in the church, even though you only have five people. You are the authority figure. And if there are pastors underneath you, you become the senior pastor, or the executive pastor. You still carry that oversight. And I, I, people underneath you follow your orders. 
your instruction, but you are the main God that carries the vision. Prophets are the voice of the Lord to the church, to the nation, and to the government. So prophets are not only limited to speak that says the Lord to the church. You can do that to the nation if one nation will acknowledge you as their prophets. And to the government. That's why if you are a man or a woman of God and a public official will invite you, that is your chance 